a birdhouse gang. This is Airby. And I just uh, finished the fire blocking, which is the blocking you see in the middle of the wall that's going up and down. And I'll be doing the roof next. Just finished the top plates, the double top plates. You know, Jay and I, we brought this out the dirt. We started this from the seed. Now look at it. Me and Jay Bird, Jay Bird and I. Six hundred square foot house. This boat is going to be moved. I don't know if I'm going to incorporate it into the project, do something cool, move it over to there, set it down. I don't know. I was going to put it up there. That's why you had those beams. But with these wires in the way, the electrical company said they were going to come and move them. It gave me a date, so if they move them, that boat is going to go on top of that container. It's looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. We're right on budget, right on schedule. You know, it's much cheaper when you do it yourself. So maybe in a couple of days, I'll have some roof rafters up there. The roof rafters are the horizontal supports for the roof, the plywood and the whole roofing system. Building code says I could go 2 by 8, 24 inches on center. So that's what we're going to do. You know, it was a time when I didn't even know how to read a tape measure, nor did I understand what everybody else in the class was doing. I'll never forget when I was in the valley and everybody was building their sailboats, taking them to lakes in their areas. They were building wooden tube boxes, metal dust pans. And I remember the teacher drawing lines on the board. It was a gazillion of them, and it just looked foreign. I don't know if he was a good construction teacher, but we had some good teachers back in the days. Some got to us, got through to us, and we learned something. But to learn something like this from the foundation, all in between and to the roof, I thank God. I used to think, you know, that I was last. But now look, building houses. And I mean, this is like kick back, take your time. Almost like building a, well, I can't say a tree house because I never built it, but for something as simple as that, for someone to build a project that they, you know, like and have some knowledge of, here you are. So whatever you're doing to learn something, continue to learn it. Don't stop. Don't get frustrated. Don't get sidetracked. Stay focused. I remember I couldn't even read a tape measure. Now look. This truck, lumber rack, Container full of construction tools. Mixer. This plywood is going to go on top. 
there is a door, exterior door. I may use it on the interior for a bedroom door. But see, you have to just continue what you started, what you were introduced to. And you may not know what you want to do. I'm talking to the young apprentice out there. Or for the ones that just don't know what you want to do yet. But once you find it, I used to run from this. True story. I had fast food restaurant jobs. And I had this type of job. Of course, you know, back in the days, fast food restaurant jobs were easy. They are easy today to learn this trade and to stick with it and get to this point where you could build without, you know, a whole bunch of carpenters or a whole bunch of people around you. That's a blessing. So, so gang, um, I'm out of here. Just showing you the level is level. This here is going to be the living room window. There, that's a uh, five by four. The kitchen window here is a four by four. And you have a bathroom window here, which is a three by two and stepping through the wall into the one and only bedroom here. You also have another five by four window. There are some small cripples that go up there. I'll put that up there tomorrow. And possibly we'll have some roof rafters going up. You know, I really took my time with this. I kind of worked when I felt like working, but to see the progress, I'm, I'm happy. Jay and I, we did a lot. We have a long way to go and a short time to do it, I guess. That's what they say. But um, I'm planning to wrap this building up, have it all closed up, and probably in a couple of months, everything goes good. My energy goes right. Everything holds up. You know, according to plan, maybe a couple of months I have everything wrapped up and even painted the windows, the doors in. And then I could start the inside work. But until next time, gang, thank you for um, subscribing to Birdhouse Gang Channel or Birdhouse Mansion Channel. Subscribe. Hit the, hit the notification button down below. Give us a like. And a share and comment. Thank you. And until next time, keep up the good work.